All right, here is my quick introduction on how I use Reaper and the built-in REA stream, restream, whatever they call it, plugin to send pre-mixed and pre-processed audio from Reaper over to OBS. Uh, and also I'm just gonna include some, some of the basic stuff, like the way I set it up, right? So for me, it's just vocals and guitar. I'm actually speaking into the guitar microphone right now for some reason, just because that's the one that was next to me. So <laughs> that's the track that is armed here. But you can see I have track one is Vox, guitar, and then track three is Verb. And so this is where you would basically do like what you would normally do if you're just setting up a session to record, right? And to make it sound good. So you would put your, your uh, send effect over here in this case, I'm using uh, the Native Instruments RC48, and since it's a send effect, obviously I want it all the way on the wet setting because I don't need any more dry signal. I have as much dry signal as I need. The whole point of the reverb, right, is to create some reverb for me, and it's just going to create reverb out of the little bits of pieces I'm going to send to it. So I'll leave that on wet. Um, you might also probably really would want to put like an EQ on here also to maybe kill some of the bass frequencies on the reverb because you don't need those either. It's just going to create more mud. But we're just going to leave that there. It's fine. Oh, I should probably turn that on. There we go. And then since I've been a good boy here and named all my tracks, when I come down here to this bottom section in the mixer where it's all sends and hardware outputs as opposed to the FX section up above, which apply only to that track, like effects that are like stacked on top of that track. In this case, I'm going to say, hey, I want to send a little piece of this vocal signal over to the reverb track. And whoa, there we go. I got way too much reverb. So I might well drop that down a little bit. And then obviously continue on with your normal stuff. You know, maybe you have your high pass EQ, you turn that on and blah, blah, blah. And then same thing, like, because you're trying to like build up to a signal now that you're going to send over to OBS and OBS is going to do nothing except accept the audio signal. So like whatever you send it is what's going to go out the stream, right? So maybe turn on a multiband compressor. It's always a good idea, right? And then of course my favorite effect of all time, the classic master limiter, which has one knob. <laughs> it's like... So refreshing. It doesn't have nine million different options. It's just one knob. Uh, it's a little low right now because there's obviously not a whole lot of stuff going on. But like, yeah, in a full mix, maybe it would have this, the mix loud enough so that around here, maybe it's just touching that first little LED. And that's like a pretty good, like quick mix. You know, it's not gonna sound ridiculous if you put it next to another song. It might still sound kind of quiet or whatever, but it's good enough for there. But then the star of the show is REA Stream here, which is a plugin that's built into Reaper, uh, at least on the Windows build. And I know on the Mac, um, I'm not sure if this plugin is available on the Reaper build of Mac, but the problem is you can't also, uh, there's a separate download that I had to do on this to reinstall basically the whole REA plugin set to a place where OBS could see it, which was the default installation path. It's like Steinberg, VST plugins, somewhere down in there. That's unfortunately, OBS, you can't tell it to look anywhere else, which would have been handy because obviously I already have these plugins, but OBS just doesn't know where they are. So I had to do that separate install on that. Uh, and unfortunately, I can't show that because I can't figure out how to record OBS at the same time I'm recording a screen because I get into like the screens inside screens inside screens territory. But the important part on the Reaper side here is on this effect, when you first load it, this is going to say default, I think. So you might want to give it a name or not. All that matters is whatever you put in here is the same thing you're going to put in over on the OBS side. And then obviously because we're on Reaper here and we're sending audio over to OBS, we are going to choose the send option as opposed to receive. And then... To be honest, not sure what the difference is here. I think broadcast might broadcast across the entire LAN, like local network, and local maybe isn't just local to the machine. All I know is this works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And this was at two by default, left it there. It worked good, nice, thumbs up, excellent. So, and that's it. So once you get this all set up, uh, there's a separate uh, thing you do over on OBS side after you install that separate plugin set I said, where basically you find, uh, you set up an audio input capture, uh, and then you add a filter to that input and one of the options for the audio filter on the audio input is uh, it's like JS, whatever they call them, JS 1.2 something. Uh, and one of the options after you select that will be the same plugin as well as some other ones. And then on that side, all you do is put in the same thing. So in my case here, it'd be Reaper. And then on the OBS side, you would choose receive instead of send. And once you do that, you should see your view meters come alive inside of Reaper. And it means now that OBS is aware and receiving the signal from Reaper and you are ready to go, assuming you have all your video stuff set up, which is obviously a different topic. So that's how I did it. Seems to work pretty good. Uh, the only thing, I, other thing I would say was that it seems like a lot of times what seems like enough signal from Reaper uh, ends up being a little quieter on the stream. Like, it seems like you can hit the view meters on the OBS side a little harder than you might think otherwise. Like, it's almost like zero isn't really zero. I don't know if it has to do with the encoding or something like that, but I have found that if I, if I leave it, you know, more like, you know, minus three, minus two on the view meters on the OBS side, that it sounds kind of quiet on the, like when you're actually watching the stream or watching the, the recording afterwards. So, but as always, test. Do a recording, see how it sounds, listen back to it, find where the sweet spot is, find where all the faders should be, and then write them all down. Or, obviously, on the Reaper side, save this as a project, which I have. You can actually see it's called OBS underscore live 2, because I made a new one for this video. <laughs> and uh, so that at that point, and OBS just remembers everything, which I still don't understand that part of it. I, I wish OBS had a way to, like, save different presets and stuff, but uh, it probably does. I just don't know how to do it. But anyway, at least at this point, once you get this set up and OBS set up, all I have to do now is I launch Reaper, I open this project, I launch OBS, and it's ready to go. So it's pretty cool. And that's how I did it. So there we go. Good luck setting all this stuff up and uh, look forward to streams.